is one of America's best-known psychiatrists, John Mack. When I first heard uh, that there was an artist in New York named Bud Hopkins who took seriously the stories of people who reported being taken by alien beings into spacecraft, I thought he must be mad and he's talking about some new form of psychosis. But these people, as far as I could tell, were of sound mind, had not communicated with each other, were not getting details from the media. This was long before the great media rash of information on this subject. They were reluctant to come forth, and they described similar stories in great detail and were shocked when they would hear that someone else had had a similar experience. And the only thing as a psychiatrist that I knew that behaved like that was real experience. John, you have a very high profile, and the fact that you're a professor at Harvard tends to make people believe you. I mean, do you think you could be seriously misleading people about what's going on here? What are the other possibilities? Dreams, for instance. Dreams do not behave like that. Dreams are highly individual. One dreams according to what's going on in your unconscious at that particular time, and the dreams of one person are quite different from those of another. Uh, or uh, some other, some kind of trauma, for instance, like sexual abuse, which is often raised creating a story which replicates your abuse story. The replicated story is very similar to the original abuse, frightened of men entering your room, but it's vague, it's general. You don't have a highly complex narrative of an altogether different sort. I, I would never say, that, yes, there are aliens taking people. I would say there is a compelling, powerful phenomenon here that I can't account for in any other way that's mysterious. There isn't a single case of an alien abduction story that fulfills my criteria that has turned out to be anything else. And yet I can't know what it is, but, but it seems to me it invites some kind of deeper, further inquiry.